this is the most iconic, greatest, biggest, ultimate haul of 2020. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Angie, if you're new here. If you're not, then welcome back. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm always catching sales. Where? Where are they? Right there? I I'm on my way. So if something's on sale, I'm buying it. I need to change that. I have a whole thing for 2021. Like, a lot of you might not want to hear this, but 2021, I'm not buying any new makeup. I'm going to try. I'm going to try because uh, this was this was too much. Sit down, grab a snack, make sure your phone is charged because we're going to be here for a while. Let's start with Sephora because it's, it's pretty small. Um... Okay, so why did I buy stuff from Sephora? Let me think. Oh, they were having a promote chin. They were having $20 off of $75. And I was like, fine. No, you know what? Actually, I was doing really good. I was ignoring other emails and their notifications. I was like, no, I'm good. I do not need anything from Sephora right now. I checked my email one day and it said, today is the last day to get $20 off of $75. And I was like, <gasps> on my way. So I already had stuff in my cart, as we all do. And I just went for it. So Fenty Beauty came out with a holiday collection and a holiday, not really a collection. It's more like a gift sets of their products that they already have. So I was um, actually interested when this first came out. But then I realized, one, I already have the lip gloss, which I love, but I already have one. Two, the blush, maybe so. And the highlighter, it, it seemed a little too deep for me, right? So I decided not to buy it. But then it was on sale, so I got it. <laughs> I'm going to show you the cream blush. This is Fenty Glow. Oh, okay. So the shade of this blush is Fenty Glow, number 11. And it looks like a bronzer maybe, or but it's beautiful. And I like colors like this, more terracotta, more brown. So I was happy about that. The gloss, I'm actually going to gift it to someone. And then the highlighter, I think it's a little too deep for me. What do we think? <laughs> so if you're near my skin tone, keep that in mind. Um that you know the the highlighter is a little deep i don't want to swatch it because i might give it away to someone um for christmas you know i also got this blush from bare minerals which is in the shade blurred buff which is also a brownie like terracotta these are my favorite shades and i have another blush from the same line but it's a more peachy rosy for like the summer which i loved during the summer but now i kind of want a more like fall winter color then i got the hourglass veil translucent setting powder now let me tell you there's some drama behind hourglass right now y'all ready for some tea okay so i don't know this personally just know it from what i've read on twitter and here and there but i guess uh an influencer called hourglass out said hey are you, you guys are gonna start making more shades or like, what's the tea? Like, what's the plan for 2021, you know? So, Hourglass tends to, every year, releases a limited edition face palette with bronzer, with blush, setting powder, and highlighter. It's all pressed, right? And they only come out with one palette, like one shade, one option. And no one's ever thought about it. No one's ever said anything until, I guess, 2020 it was kind of like an eye-opener for a lot of us i guess this influencer that called hourglass out is a big fan of hourglass like she loves their products but she said because you're one of my favorite brands i want you to be to include all the shades possible and are you gonna do that or not and let me tell you hourglass has left the chat nowhere to be found calls go straight to voicemail <laughs> like hourglass is not saying ooh, hourglass is not saying anything so there's a couple of influencers that are um, 
kind of um also taking a step back like oh we've noticed that they're not really doing anything they're not saying anything so we're just going to act like they're not there and we're not going to review their products which i think it's an amazing thing to do especially when you have a platform and i'm right behind them because you know me i'm a youtuber too i don't know personally what hourglass is going to do or not going to do so i just think i'm gonna wait it out and see i don't even buy from them anyways um i just bought this powder which i really did like um so but the, other than that like i don't normally they're pretty pricey so they're kind of out of my range so um but i would love to see what like because we don't know maybe they're working on something i like to i guess give the benefit of the doubt but then again i'm gonna keep a close eye on that subject and then i'll keep you guys updated and then lastly i bought this sol de janeiro hand sanitizer it's a spray oh it smells so good if you've ever smelled their body cream or their body spray it smells just like on to the next ulta so let me show you what i got let's get sorted so there's a little bit of everything i have some hair stuff some skincare and i have makeup should i start with hair just to get it out of the way it's just two things okay so just two things i got this ava nyc shampoo this is the lacy jane air dry shampoo and i really really enjoy it for whenever um I, I have to wash my hair and i haven't washed it for a couple of days this is like the perfect revival for my curls especially when um like for example i've had my hair um styled for the last two three days it's like nice and soothing and hydrating so if i wash my hair with this um like my curls come back faster otherwise it'll take me like two three days to get my curls back again after i've, I've styled my hair and then the next item i got it's um leave-in product it's from it's a 10 uh, this smells so good i use it like once or twice a week so whenever like i wash my hair and i i like to air dry my hair so if i'm gonna air dry it then i'll put a little bit of this for mostly because it smells good and then just a little bit of hydration i guess I also have this Bondi Boost heat protecting spray. Um, I don't style my hair that often. So I don't own a heat protector, which I should. So now I do. I got the It Cosmetics Cleanse Confidence in a Cleanser. I use their moisturizer, like their day cream moisturizer and their eye cream. So I figured I should try the cleanser just to have the, all three just for funsies. And it was on sale. Then I also bought the Kapari, I think that's what it's called, Kapari, um, what is it, like, what? it's a cleanser, but I'll put a picture on the screen so you, you know what I'm talking about, but I've been loving that cleanser, I can't stop using it, I use it day and night, and what I like about it is that it doesn't dry my skin, like I said, I use it morning and night, and my skin doesn't feel dry, that Kapari one, so soft leaves my face feeling very nice and just fresh for another skincare item i got this the ordinary um i can't read that i am so illiterate salicylic acid yeah um face mask i've used it maybe four times i like it can't complain it's nice it does the job it is what it is you just put it on your face leave it on it doesn't feel tight it dries but it your skin doesn't feel too tight um and yeah i guess i guess yeah when i have a little of breakouts or i feel like i've used too much makeup and my skin kind of needs like a break like a detox i feel like it does the job i got a, another of uh, a blurring primer from cover effects cover effects makes my favorite primers i love all of their primers and a blurring the blurring primer is one of my favorites i also i, I don't know why. <laughs> okay i don't know why i got this the lancome all day primer and moisturizer it has spf of 50 it is water resistant up to 80 minutes and it is an oil-free cooling and invisible primer and moisturizer i'm not gonna lie the packaging just got me this is like senora vibes like fancy stuff right 
like it's so pretty i haven't used it okay so it's watery oh wow it is invisible and it has spf Oh, it smells like roses, but in the most light and clean way you can think of. Oh my god, this reminds me of like my grandma. Like, you know, like stuff grandmas would use, like fancy grandmas. My grandma's fancy. You know, like she dyes her hair, she wears like jewelry and cute little matching shirt and pants. Like, yeah, this reminds me of my grandma. Oh, okay, so I got this e.l.f. Halo setting powder, hoping it was similar to the hourglass powder um i don't know i haven't tried it i don't know anything about it so hopefully it's a dupe or similar so i don't have to buy hourglass no more until further notice you know what i'm saying i got a backup of my favorite mascara current 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 favorite um my favorite mascara from the drugstore has to be the l'oreal paradise that one's a good one the waterproof version of course but recently i tried the covergirl exhibitionist mascara do you guys mind that i say mascara <laughs> i hope you don't because i like saying that <laughs> anyways um so so covergirl exhibitionist waterproof mascara really good i like it and it is cheaper it's on, much on the like cheaper side it's like 6.99 at target but i got it at ulta because it was on sale and because I just buy adult all the time. Okay, this was a recommendation from my friend Diana. She mentioned that she likes this. She uses it. So I said, okay, say no more. Add to cart. <laughs> so I got this. It was not on sale. But I got it. Um, but I think it's a shade too dark. Yeah, it's way too dark. Like, I could probably do two shades lighter. This is 220 Natural Beige. So I got to go handle that. So I got to go to Ulta and exchange it. Then I also got Persona Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. These were on sale at Ulta, 40% off, I think. And let me tell you a little story behind Persona Cosmetics. So this palette is not new. This came out like maybe two years ago, I think. I don't even know. And a lot of the YouTubers that I watch always use it or mention it and say it's such a good palette it's nice you know all good things about it and to be completely honest with you when i first saw the palette online like on pictures and when the youtubers show it it's like it's it doesn't really call my name it doesn't get my attention but let me tell you when i got this palette and i opened it it took my breath away it is so so beautiful i didn't see it on camera i didn't see it on pictures but in person wow i i mean i'm gonna show you but i don't know if you're if you're gonna feel the same way it looks very like toned down on camera but in person is gorgeous it's so so pretty it's your traditional neutral palette but in person this is probably the most beautiful palette i've ever seen it is so pretty and then they have a version of that like a, a part two which is to me this is like the daytime palette and this is the nighttime palette i'll show you like a party like festive and just perfect for a night out Perfect for the girl that lives in New York, not during a pandemic, but she lives in New York. She has her nine to five job where she wears cute colors, like simple like this. But she goes out with her friends to get drinks or to the bar or, you know, a museum, something nice. And she's got a little bit of uh, something going on in her eyes. <laughs> also got an eye cream from It Cosmetics, like a backup of the eye cream. This is MAC powder kiss liquid lipstick liquid lipsticks i've never tried this but i was influenced by giselle she's this girl that i watch on youtube she is barely starting off her channel and she is really talented she puts a lot of thought into her videos and she's always doing hauls and uh watching one of her recent videos and she bought two lipsticks from mac and i wanted to buy both but one of them was sold out when i was when i was gonna get mine 
So I ended up just getting the shade over the taupe and it is so, so, so pretty. It's moussey, so it's not matte, like it's not a liquid lipstick. It's more of a moussey formula and it looks matte. See how it looks matte? But it's not. It's super creamy. Let me see if I can swatch it. It's very creamy. It's like a moussey consistency. Then this was an impulse purchase. <laughs> Just this. Everything else, I meant to buy it. <laughs> this is a Becca Hydrating Lip Balm. Hydra Light Plumping Lip Balm. But, um, look at the color. It's a, like an orangey red, but it's pretty, it's a lip balm. This is maybe not appropriate for the month of December. Because it's very, like, summery. Another setting powder. Oh my god. Another setting powder. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is an experience. This is out of this world. I have a little story behind this powder. Um, my friend Bella and her mom, um, my friend Maria, she they gifted this to me maybe two years ago for my birthday, which I thought was very, very thoughtful. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned it to Bella. I think I did. I mentioned it to her. But I remember telling her, like, it is so cool. Like, it's just 50%. It's, so this is 50% water. So when you put it on your face, it feels wet. Um, so I remember telling her about it. And I don't remember her response. But I mean, we were just because we love makeup. We both love makeup. So we were talking about it and then went about our lives. Weeks passed, maybe a month or two. Then it was my birthday. And she gifted this to me. And I felt like it was so like it was so thoughtful because this is pricey, right? Like it's Becca. So, you know, when you buy something for someone because they're not going to buy it for themselves. So it, it always stuck with me. Like that was really a really thoughtful because if she wouldn't have bought it for me, I would have never, would have never tried it. And then lastly, I promise this is the last item from Ulta. It's a Juvia's Place lips, uh, lip liner. This is in the shade um, Sweet Nothing. And it looks like, like a nude. You know, like a nice warm nude. Okay, so dose of colors. I feel like I'm a, I know I'm a broken record, but dose of colors has the best Black Friday sale. Like you cannot sleep on dose of colors during Black Friday. Trust me. Every year, well, at least the last two years, they had a 40% off their entire site. But this year, they did 50% off. So you know I got some stuff. Their foundation and their concealer, I love, but I already have one, so I didn't buy that. Um, but I bought two eyeshadow palettes. This is in their new packaging. Oh my god, it's so nice and slick. Ugh, are you kidding me? It comes with a mirror, it comes with a brush, which I've already used. And you have all matte shadows. Beautiful beautiful then this is one of their newest palettes which is cutting edge i was gonna buy this when it first came out but some of you told me to wait because i was like should i wait for a sale should i buy it now and most of you said girl wait so i waited and i got it during black friday thank you guys i would have not been able to do it without you this is what it looks like it's so pretty i love it then i got two sponges this is one of their sponges. I don't know the name of it, but I'm still trying to work with it, like get used to the shape. It's a little different. Um, not really sure what the purpose of this sponge is. I didn't really look into it, just bought it. And then I bought another one of their like original sponge. I'll put a picture of this on the screen because I don't know where it is. I'm going to try 2021. I'm going to try not to buy as much makeup. I don't need it. I can't buy it just because it's on sale. And I need to use what I have. This is insane. Because I was thinking, like, instead of all this makeup that I bought during these holidays, I could have been saving for or could have been buying a camera or an, 
uh, laptop, you know, because my phone, like, I, I, I'm, I sound like a broken record. I don't mean to sound, be annoying, but, like, I record with my phone, and it doesn't have a lot of storage, and I'm always constantly, like, you know, deleting stuff to uh, make room to record my videos and save them and then be able to upload them. And I don't mind because I like doing this. This is fun for me, but it, it is a hassle. So I feel like I should have, you know, what? like, so that's, that's going to be my resolution for 2021. I want to get a camera and I want to get a laptop. Okay, I'm going to do a giveaway, but just with us, like just you and me. So one winner one winner is going to get the winner will win a 50 dollars ulta gift card mm -hmm. so all you have to do is be subscribed which you already are and if you're not go ahead and subscribe like the video which you already did because listen this is how it works you click on a video you like it right away it is what it is so you won't forget and then you're gonna comment down below an emoji a happy face, a heart, a Christmas tree, a bagel, no matter. Just comment something down below. Okay? And then, but this is this is the actual final entry to the giveaway. You can't tell nobody though. This is just between me and you right here. Um, keep it to yourself. Okay. Have to comment on my latest Instagram picture. Comment the most popular dish for the holidays in your family like there's something that your mom always makes or your tío like no puede faltar los tamales buñuelos pozole el champurrado el ponche gelatina like whatever dish that you, it's an a must every christmas or every holiday whatever you celebrate what is that comment that dish in my latest post and then i would choose the winner on christmas day the 25th i will contact you via instagram because you're gonna comment on that picture right but make sure you are subscribed make sure you like comment your emoji down below and um i will see you guys in my next video bye